Skip, what was your takeaway from yesterday's game? This time, Joy, I'm going to dare my man Shannon Sharp across the table what now? to scoff at, to ridicule, to make fun of, to disrespect my man Manu Ginobili. You know, sometimes when you're watching sports, you s- just lose sight, forest for trees. And yesterday when that game ended, I sat back and I said, what a privilege it is to have watched this man, the sustained greatness that he's still on full display at age 40 against the defending champs in a closeout game at home. And he did it again. You want to talk about clutch guts? No one has ever done at 40-plus what Manu Ginobili continues to do in the playoffs because nobody ever had a double-digit scoring game off the bench. Now he has two of them. I kept telling you all year long he was the closer for this year's San Antonio Spurs. There is no way they would have made the playoffs without this man going Brady-esque at age 40. He should have been the sixth man of the year No, because he played only 20 minutes a game. And all the other candidates were 30-plus minutes a That's game. That's all he can play because he's 40, Skip. He can't yeah. play 30 minutes a night at 40. But most of those 20 minutes a night were in the fourth quarter when he took over game after home game after home game. Didn't do it on the road as much. But at home, they were just one game shy of Toronto and Houston for the best home record in all of basketball. And obviously, they went all but nine games without their best player, Kawhi Leonard. And wasn't it something yesterday to watch Steph Curry injured, running, bouncing off the bench and every time out to congratulate, high five, Kawhi back slap? In New York. Huh? I don't know where Kawhi was. He was Kawhi nowhere hurt. to be seen. The Eisen's quad. So it's just about Ginobili's guts. And he carried that team yesterday, those, those overachievers, past a team featuring the best player on the planet, Kevin Durant. Really? He did it again. Really? He just was destroying really? the Spurs. What, well, what, just, there, there's nothing like it. Well, what happened? You know, I've never happened? seen anything like you know what seven, I, Look, there he is. Seven yeah, feet seven tall. Seven foot tall, and yeah. he's special. He's dynamic. Woo! As good a player that we've seen in a very, very yeah, long time. Yeah. But what happened when Klay Thompson wasn't giving you 30? Because uh, you do know that yeah. when he scored 31, Klay Thompson had 34. Mm-hmm. When he scored 33, Klay Thompson had 30. Mm-hmm. So, so when Klay Thompson looked more like Tristan Thompson shooting mm-hmm. the ball, mm-hmm. all of a sudden they get beat by 13. Mm-hmm. You know, the Spurs do play pretty good uh-huh. defense. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, but anyway, let me get to your man, Manu. Mm-hmm. Skip, you need to stop playing. Mm-hmm. See, stop playing? Yes, because... W- this is rare. When this you is ta- special. When you take Whew. this is what we see with Dwayne Wade syndrome. Dwayne Wade had that great game too, mm-hmm. and you say, see, I told you, LeBron's gonna miss him. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, he had blah. a great game four. You must have missed it. Did, uh, I, I don't think Joy missed it. Did you see the fourth quarter of game four? On did Saturday? you see O'Roy? Dwayne Wade. Did you see O'Roy? Did you see what Roy did in the fourth quarter? Whew. But we let him talk. Can I can I finish about your man Ooh. Manu? Now, in the regular season, Manu had two games, Mm -hmm. two games in which he scored 20 points. Lou Williams had 38 such games Mm -hmm. coming off the bench. Coming off the bench, Skip Bayless. Lou Williams is the first guy in over 30 years to lead his team in scoring and assist as a bench player. He played 33 minutes a game. 33 minutes. Are those not starter minutes? I'm just telling you. So you let the ball be tipped, and then you say, timeout. Lou's coming in. The, the, the rules, the way the NBA sets it up, mm-hmm. in order for you to be eligible to win sixth man of the mm-hmm. year, you must come off the bench more than you start. Mm. He came off the bench 60 times, I, Skip Bayless. Help me out. Did the Clippers make the playoffs? No. No. Did the Spurs make the playoffs? Yes. Really, Skip? And it was because of that guy and only that guy. Really? You, you have no idea. I so, watched so what, every what, dribble of every game. Hold up. He closed again you, and again. If you don't mind me again. asking, did the, did the uh, Clippers have an all-star? Because if I didn't know about I could have swear the Spurs, had, the Spurs had an all-star. Did LaMarcus Aldridge make the all-star team? You do know. Stop it, Skip. Why are you sitting over the top of shaking your head like the you don't know? The one all-star is up in New York. No. Getting treated. Oh, so are you trying to say LaMarcus no. Aldridge is not an all-star? I'm not the biggest fan, but go nah, ahead. No, 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 no. That's not what I asked. Is he an all-star? A simple no or a simple yes? He's had a pretty good year. Skip, baby, you ought to be shit. Will you stop dodging the question? Did, the did, sixth man of the year is Manu Ginobili. No, he's not. Oh, please. And Manu can skip. Okay, this is his one game. He can summon this type of performance up one game? for one game. Yeah, okay. Let's see what he do. Let's see what he does tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. Do they play tomorrow night, Joy, or do they play Wednesday? 
Let's see what he does in the next game. I think they play tomorrow night. Let's see what he does in the next game, mm-hmm. and then we'll have this conversation. Mm-hmm. We'll have this conversation again, and we'll see what Manu does. That, they would have won both games in San Antonio, but God bless Pop and losing his wife. That was a big issue and a big distraction, obviously, and took sort of the heart out of yeah. the team when Pop lost his wife. And they lost game two. Uh, th- I'm sorry, three at home when I thought they would have won. They're a really good home team. Skip. Yeah. Be glad you didn't get swept. Mm-hmm. They play tomorrow. Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr didn't want to sweep you. I mean, he's like he called the dogs off mm. because you know of, of the pop situation. We know his fondness for pop. Yep. But he would have swept you. Any other coach would have swept you because they don't know pop like Steve Kerr mm. knows pop. But anyway, with that withstanding, when you're Ginobili, going home tomorrow. When Ginobili put the final nail in the coffin from the corner uh, three point shot right in front of the Golden State bench. Steve Kerr said after the game, I couldn't help but smile. He's been doing it for so long, and he's still doing it. And Steve Kerr said he should play two more years, and I concur. He should play yeah, two if, more if, years. If you go score eight points, I mean, Lou Williams averaging 22, uh, he averaging eight. Yeah. I can give you three. Yeah. <laughs> I can give you three points right now. Just mm-hmm. mop-up duty. Mm. So stop playing. You know good and well Manu does not deserve to be no sixth he's man of the year. No, he does not. For a playoff team. You go two, he had yeah. two games of 20-plus points. Don't bring me Eric Gordon either. Eric he's Gordon. Playing, got- playing with James Harden and CP3 and Capella. Hold on. That's like three Whoa, All-Stars. whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. You didn't have that problem when he was playing with Tim Duncan, mm. Manu, and Tony Parker. You didn't have no problem with him winning sixth man of the year. Yeah, well, he deserved it. Huh? Oh, mm. oh, now he deserved it. Mm. So if he plays with the greatest power forward to ever well, live. That, that, in that case, you took an all-star and a gold medal winner for Argentina, and you said, will you come off the bench? And he said, yeah, I'll do that. And every time he came off the bench, he just completely changed the flow of the game, and he's still doing it at well, 40. Them. I've never seen anything like it. They, they you them. should sit back and savor this. No, you that's... should appreciate greatness. Greatness recognizes greatness, no. but in your case, you can't. I posted. Uh, you pic- need new glasses. Joy, you saw my you <laughs> saw glasses. My, Joy, you saw my IG. Yeah. My little baby, my little five-pound Pomeranian was yeah. snoring. Yeah. Snore. He never snores watching the Spurs play. Why do you put your life up on Instagram? Nobody cares. Yeah, they do. Nobody they like cares my what alligator. you I got eat. an alligator blanket. Why don't you put everything you eat on Instagram? Oh, uh, you don't. Yeah. Uh, Joy eat all these right here, though. Yeah, well, that's you don't put those up, do you? I don't eat them. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, at night, I, I had. Oh, well, let me tell you what I had yet for brunch. I had some old cornflake or uh, French toast yesterday. Oh, that's mm. all that old cornflake French toast. Not good for you. I tell you what, it's good to me. Yeah, you, you talking <laughs> about all that good for you? I want something that's good to me sometime too, Skip. But I, hey, don't worry about this right here, Skip. This is yeah. up over here. Ooh, the thing coming up. up for 50. Ooh, jo- joy, built like an Aztec god. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, you know who's been good to me. For about 20 years, Manu Ginobili. Yeah. Thank you, Whatever. Manu. I appreciate skip, you, my it. Wa- skip my waist. I do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.